Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and today I want to talk about breaking in your new engine or your new car. Now, it is very important that you do this, and I know I did a good job because every time I do an acceleration test against the same car, both original, my car always wins, and I never had an engine that broke or had any oil consumption. I'm making this video because the first thing that people do when they drive off from the dealership is this. They also try an acceleration test. Of course, they also try launch control. They test out the top speed. try out a donut, why the hell not? <laughs> Needless to say, these are all things that you should avoid while breaking in your new engine. Okay, so let me explain how to do it. It's actually not that hard. So if you have an automatic like me, it's very easy. But if you have a manual, you will have to need to pay attention at what you do. So let's pretend like the car has zero kilometers and is still cold. And you're starting it up for the first time. Okay, so the first step is to warm up the engine. You do that by not going over 2000 rpm and don't give more than a quarter of the throttle. You do that for half an hour just to make sure and by the way you do that every time you start the engine even though the engine has 100,000 kilometers or miles you always have to do that so we are now driving the engine is warm what you now have to do for a thousand kilometers is don't go over 3500 rpm and also try to use a quarter of the throttle now if you bought the car the car manufacturer will already have put in the correct oil if you've built the engine yourself use the thinnest oil possible so after you have done 1000 kilometers it's time for the next step and you also do that 1000 kilometers but now you can go up to 5000 rpm when the engine is warm of course and you can use half the throttle when you have done that we have a total of 2000 kilometers and then for the last 500 kilometers you can use uh, three quarters of the travel and you can go up to 6000 rpm what's also important when you're braking in your engine is try to avoid the freeway don't 
reduce cruise control always change speed change your gears and change the RPM and also try to avoid short trips always make sure that the engine can warm up then you drive around because most wear and tear happens when you're starting an engine so try to keep it running so we have now a total of 2500 kilometers so now it's time to take the old oil off and put in new oil if you have bought a new car you will get a message on your infotainment system to bring it back to the dealer then when that service is done and the new oil is in now we can use full throttle when the engine is warm and all the RPM up to the end of course when I say that you have to change up at a certain RPM you don't have to do that all the time just mix it up while you're driving to your destination and then at 5,000 kilometers you do another oil change and then the next one is 10,000 kilometers and now you can do an oil change every 10,000 kilometers okay guys that was everything I hope you liked the video if you did, please give it a like and maybe subscribe. And you all have a nice day. Bye.